Hello, welcome to a new episode. Uh, this episode we'll be trying to use FLTK with uh, Android. So uh, this is Android Studio. I'm creating a new uh, project. So I chose the native C++ application. So we'll just call it uh, FLTK app. And let us say And we'll be using Java since uh, we'll just uh, delete the, uh, the main activity. So this might take some time. Okay, so here we don't need this. We can delete this. Delete. And we'll search for main activity. So we'll change this to Android app native activity. That means that there is no main from Java. And we don't need this, so uh, just include whatever. So this will be a help. That H, we haven't, uh, we'll actually get clone the uh, FLTK repo here. So uh, terminal. So I think because I'm uh, recording, this is taking some time. Okay, so app, oops, Windows, okay. So we can get clone FLTK here, so. <clears throat> and we can also modify our CMake lists. So uh, we'll keep the minimum version, add library, let's keep it that way and native lib.cpp and library. We don't need this, or maybe just for uh, log lib. Target link. And hit OK. And we link also Android. We need to add a subdirectory here. So let's uh, call it Android app. So directory FLTK and library. Target include direct, uh, directories. So uh, <coughs> Okay, this looks good. We just need to pass uh, special uh, parameters or arguments to uh, CMake. So here we'll use arguments. And uh, we'll use uh, FLTK build examples of the table test. Off. 
Uh, basically, we need to also change the manifest. So, have a native activity, and we need to actually also have a uh, metadata Android name Android app lib name Android value, and we'll call it. Uh, native lib um, okay so let's try and build this so it'll start the emulator first <clears throat> This might take some time. It's building FLTK from source. So uh, let's uh, just check our builds. So the problem here, oh yeah, there is a version uh, file that uh, we need to uh, delete. So <clears throat> where is the terminal? Try to build this again. So let's add some code here. Uh, We don't need this, basically we need a main. So this built correctly, I think. Let's just check that this basically builds. So So the build was uh, so the application was built successfully. We see a FLTK window, uh, which is uh, the usual frame default color. Uh, we can change the color, for example. So let's say when color FL white. We get a white uh, colored window. Let's add something like a button. Let's say it's at uh, 240, <clears throat> 300, and uh, 80, 40. Like mm, just quit.
Okay, so this is a bit small. Uh, let us say, for example, 150. And we'll change also the uh, size of the font. So, table size. Let us say it's uh, 25. And the color. Let's see, blue. You can see this actually uh, takes some time to build, but only several seconds to build and deploy. Okay. Box or flat box. So this is a rounded flat box. So we see this is this isn't rounded, and let's get a uh, box. Colors, uh, material, for example, design. Okay. Okay. Actually, for that. <clears throat> so this now should be a rounded box. Okay, we can change the color of the uh, itself so let's say this is uh, 160 80 and let's add a callback for example This will take, for example, the window. <clears throat> Just uh, hide it. So let's see when. Okay. Okay. We can increase the size of the font also. Move this a bit down. Move it also a bit to the left, so this is 160. Uh, oh, not too much. Okay, so now I have uh, an FLTK application running on Android. Uh, looks uh, a bit decent, and uh, 
that was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll be creating more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.